Hi everyone, my name is Kai and welcome to my review for Ambulance, the latest action flick movie by Michael Bay, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, Yare abdul Martin II and also Isa Gonzalez. Now, before we jump into this review, I just got to say, if you have seen this movie, do you think that this was influenced by Speed with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock? To me personally, it did. I just want to know what you all think. So, the actual premise for Ambulance is that two brothers, um, hijack an ambulance after a bank heist goes wrong and in the same process they are also trying to maintain the life of an officer who was shot by one of the brothers. Now something which I've got to mention first and foremost is that this is a movie whereby it is kind of it's one of these movies where it's so bad that it's actually pretty good and enjoyable. One problem which you'll probably realize straight away with this movie is that one of the camera angles which Michael Bay decides to go with is very very overused and very very annoying it's basically a shot of a kind of like a helicopter or a drone going upside down and around and then into the scene now to me it was done way too much and it was at a time when it actually felt like I was on a roller coaster but apart from that, when it comes to the actual viewing of the movie, it was pretty enjoyable. So, some of the things which I think people are going to like about this movie is that there's quite a lot of comedic um, elements to this movie. It's not just one of those movies whereby it's action, 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 and everything is serious 100% of the time, and that's just it. This is kind of one of these movies where where even though it's very long you do get a lot of background when it comes to different characters and how they kind of interwined not really interwined with one another but just how you know character development and such we do get a lot of character development in this movie isa gonzalez she is a paramedic who kind of uh, I guess you could say she's broken up with her boyfriend, however, she's very serious and takes her profession very seriously at the same time. She's never had a patient who's ever died um, under her watch and she's not going to do so in this movie. When it comes to y Yare, one of the brother's um, characters, he is part of this heist because his wife is basically needing surgery and he doesn't have the money to enable to afford it, so he basically... Uh, gets in touch with his long lost brother, I guess you could say adopted brother, and they basically, you know, come together. As for Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's character, he's basically a mastermind. His dad was a mastermind of heisting. He was his dad was also a killer. However, Jake Gyllenhaal isn't really like that. But if you push him that way, he probably could go down that path. And essentially, um, he sets up the crew and everything, and takes um, Yari's character into the uh, bank heist and of course the bank heist goes wrong due to the police uh, person who is also in this movie um, he ends up basically walking in on the bank heist which goes wrong and he ends up getting shot and as a result he's also in the ambulance being saved by um, Isaac Gonzalez's his character now a lot of things goes into this movie there's a lot, a lot, and of course this is a Michael Bay movie, so of course you're going to expect a lot of explosions, ten tense motions, um, and things of that nature. However, one thing which I think people don't always realise is that this is one of the movies whereby you have to kind of pay attention, if you will. Uh, there are certain details whereby, okay, you can tell where this is going. One of the One of the times is when... Uh, when the cop is being put in, into the ambulance, um, his partner leaves a gun underneath him and that plays a huge uh, factor later on in the movie. Other parts are that you have to kind of... You, can, you do have to realise that even though these are characters, you can somewhat believe that this, this could happen. Obviously not to the way of... Um, how you would say, Michael Bay level, whereby, you know... It's just layers on layers on layers on top of action whereby in the real life world would that really happen? Most likely not. Um, one of the greatest scenes which I would have to say about this movie is when um, Jake Jin Hall brings up one of the cartels because um, 
well, one of the cartel's associates, who basically owes the cartel's money, and in doing so, um, he asks them for help in order to basically get cover so that they can help kind of escape from the ongoing police chase. Um, and that scene is basically they put a dummy in a car, and the, the dummy is basically acted as a real person, but um, strapped to the front of the car is a submachine gun. And the submachine gun basically the car goes down the goes down the road sorry, and shoots at all of the police cars and it just it just you have to see it to basically see what kind of what I'm saying but that part of the movie was pretty good. Uh, when it comes to Jake Gyllenhaal, I thought you know this is one of Jake Gyllenhaal's movie whereby you know it's Jake Gyllenhaal. It's kind of like he has that he has that element. When it comes to Jake Gyllenhaal's characters, you realise that he's serious, but he's also very jokey at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, when it comes to Yare's character, I thought, you know, Yare as an actor is pretty decent. I wouldn't say he's the A-list or like the, you know, like perhaps a Leonardo DiCaprio kind of level, but he does a pretty good job in this position. Uh, I would have liked to have seen them perhaps add a lot of more how do you say I would have liked to have seen them add more to Jake Jin Hall's and um, Yahweh's kind of brother's connection we do get to see them when they were kids but we don't really get to see why I guess you could say why they kind of went the different ways which they did you do see that but it's not really touched upon that much uh, when it comes to Isa Gonzalez I thought she was probably the standout character I thought she was the standout actress of this movie I thought she was perhaps the uh, more of the most vocal point of the movie. I think if it wasn't for her, it wouldn't have been as good as it was. I think she plays the character well. I think she plays that strictness to a T. And also at the end, we also get to see a lot a bit. We get to see a lot about her as a person and basically a bit of backstory about maybe why she is the way that she is. That she is strict and why her relationship did. Um, go the way it does, the way it does. Um, when it comes to other characters, you know, you have the police officers, you have ambulance crew. Now, is it realistic? Of course not. Is it fun? Absolutely. Um, but overall, I've got to say that Ambulance is a terrific movie, in my opinion. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Other people will probably say that this is just a generic Michael Bay movie, but if you like Michael Bay movies and you like action flicks, this is definitely the movie for you. Uh, let me know what you all think in the comment section below. I would love to know if you all think that speed played an impact on this movie or not, because I think that it did. But yeah, thank you for watching my, my uh, review, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Peace.